All right, so the question is to derive the Maxwell's relationships. So for example, if we have uh, du is equal to TDS minus PDV, one of the relationship is dt over dv at constant s is equal to negative dp over ds at constant v, where t is the temperature, v is the volume, s is the entropy, p is the pressure. So using, so if we want to derive this relationship, uh, the first thing that we want to do is that we want to look at this equation right here. Uh, so I'm just going to derive one of the equations, uh, so the top equation right here. So we know that du is equal to TDS minus PDV. Uh, what this means is that we know that u is dependent on S and V. So we know that u is a function of entropy and volume. And after we identify this, we want to use uh, the equation uh, called the formal, sorry, called the yeah, called the uh, total differential. So the total differential is right here. So we know that it says that f as a function of x and y, and we also have u as a function of s and v. So we can see the similarities between that. So we want to write, write it in the same way as what the form has right here by identifying that f is u and x is s and y is v. So after doing that, we can plug it in. So we have du is equal to du over ds at constant v plus du over dv at constant s. And also I forgot the ds at the, uh, at the afterwards right here, and also I forgot the dv right here because of dx and dv. So we have this equation right here after using the total differential. And after doing that, we also note that du is equal to TDS minus PDV. So we can see the similarities between du is equal to TS minus PDV and also our equation that we have right here. So we can see that the T pretty much corresponds to uh, du over ds at constant v. And we also note that negative p right here corresponds to du over dv at constant s because of the fact that we have du right here, and we also have ds right here, and we also have dv right here. So based on this, we can write that du over ds at constant v is equal or the same thing as the temperature. And we also have dv over dv at constant s is equal to negative p. So after identifying that, uh, we can use another mathematical concept uh, called the formal expressions of symmetry or the double equivalence, uh, which is represented right here. So based on this equation, uh, we can use it in pretty much the same way as we did from the total differential by using f, x, and y, where f is equal to u, x is equal to s, and y is equal to v. And this is all pretty much based on um, this right here. So after identifying that, we can just use the expression and plug it in. So we have d over dy, so where y is, again, y is v, right here. So d over dv, parentheses, du over ds, a constant v, all this bracketed, a constant x, where x is s, and at the right-hand side, you pretty much do the same thing in terms of plugging x, f, and y in place of the variables. So d over ds, du over dv, a constant s, bracket, v. I'm going to plug the d right here. Uh, so after identifying this relationship, uh, we can see that uh, the term for temperature at negative P 
P pops out because we have du over ds, a constant v, which is again the same thing as our top one right here. We also have du over dv, a constant s, where again, du over dv, a constant s, is the same thing as the top that we wrote from before, which is equal to negative p. So after doing that, we can just substitute in the temperature and the, and the negative pressure. So after doing that, we will have uh, our value. So I'll let me scroll down here a little bit. So again, we have, this is again the same thing as the, the temperature. This is the same thing as the negative P. So after doing that and we plug in our variables, we have dt over dv at constant s, because of the constant s right here, is equal to ds, sorry, a, sorry, a negative dp over dv. Let me erase this really quick. Um, all right, so negative dp over dv at constant oh, this is uh, let me re restart this uh, it's actually negative dp over ds a constant v so if we look at this equation right here uh, this is the same equation as from the Maxwell's relation of dt over dv a constant s dt over dv a constant s is equal to negative dp over ds a constant v so there you have it, and that's how we solve one of the Maxwell's relationship. And to actually solve for the last three right here, we pretty much apply the same method and the same rules by using the total differential and the formal expressions of symmetry. So thanks for listening.